Lamine Yamal has been one of Barcelona's best prospects in a long time. He has already become the youngest player to appear for Barcelona's first team at just 15 years old and is now also seen as the true heir to Lionel Messi. So how did Lamine Yamal explode onto the scene as of recently? Well, let's take a look at the rise of Lamine Yamal. Yamal was born on July 13, 2007 in Mataro, Spain, specifically in a neighborhood called Roca Fonda, an area where he's proud to represent, dedicating some of his celebrations to it. Now, Lamine was born in a diverse family, with his father being Moroccan and his mother being from Equatorial Guinea. He's to have diverse roots as well, with him having both of those flags printed on his boots. Now, Lamine is a talented and humble kid. He was always very good with the ball at his feet, and it became really noticeable on the streets of Roca Fonda. So much so that he eventually ended up playing for the U team of CF La Torreta, and then in 2014, after a scout report, Barcelona took notice of the young Yamal. A few days after reading the reports, Barcelona invited Lamine to play a game for them, so they could see him from up close. After Barcelona scouts realized that he had good ball control, a lot of pace, and amazing execution, they decided it was worth betting on him and allowed him to train at their prestigious academy, La Masia. Now, like I said, Lamine was very humble because after getting into Barcelona's academy, the kids that he used to play football with, he never told them that he got into Barca just because he didn't want the other kids to feel bad that they weren't in Barcelona with him. He never wore any of his Barcelona hoodies, pants, etc. in front of them just so they wouldn't know. He was looking out for his childhood friends. <laughs> you just gotta respect that. Anyways, Lamine Yamal became an instant hit for the Barcelona academy. In his second year for playing for La Masia, he scored 56 times in 30 games, showcasing his extraordinary talent. Talent. An old Barcelona youth coach, Abro Puig, even said that Lamine Yamal was a lot better than the rest of his teammates, even when he used to play in four age groups up. He was still the star. Additionally, the La Masia Academy has a protocol where they only let players live in their residency if they lived outside of Catalonia, the region where Barcelona is based. However, for Lamine, due to the fact that they saw a boy with exceptional talent, they wanted him to stay in residency as well, and broke their own rules to allow Lamine to stay. Barcelona staff wanted this to happen so they could control his diet, rest, and workload, since they all knew he could easily become a professional. Anyway, how does Lamine Yamal play? Well, for starters, Yamal is a left-footed attacker that can play on either the right or left flank, kind of like Usman Dembele. He's exceptional regarding his attacking abilities, however, the best part of Yamal's game has to be his elite ball control. Kind of like Messi, Yamal is able to make the ball stick to his feet, and this becomes glaringly obvious when he's cutting in from the right flank. Lamine Yamal is also pretty gifted physically. Despite it being commonly known that Barcelona players are more focused with the ball on their feet than actual weightlifting and gym work, Yamal has a good physical presence and stands at 6 feet tall, which is good for a 16-year-old kid. I wish I could be like that for real. I'm stuck at 5'9". Anyways, his good physicality has led him to have no major injuries throughout his childhood and Barcelona Academy days, which is a very good thing that Barcelona coaches have taken note of. And this is also playing a massive part in Lamine Yamal's rapid progression through the Barcelona ranks. Also, Lamine Yamal himself has stated that whether he's playing as a striker, winger, or even an attacking midfielder, the best way for him to unlock his ability is just by being creative, and that he can do anywhere on the pitch. This for me shows that Lamine Yamal is extremely confident in himself, and he has the right mentality to become a top professional in the sport. Real quick before we get on with the rest of the video though, please remember to subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it and it means a lot, so thank you. And also if you guys can, please follow my Twitter and Instagram, both at Nabuto, if you just want to hear my thoughts on football games, transfers, and overall just to get to know me more. So if you want to, feel free to hit me up with that follow. Thank you. Anyways, talking more about Lamine's academy days though, at the La Liga Promises Santander International Tournament, Lamine was the best player in the competition, with him scoring 7 goals, eventually helping Barcelona win the entire tournament. His excellent play style also led him to play a part in Barcelona being Real Madrid 6-1 in the tournament as well. Now at this competition, it was clear to see that Lamine was extremely calm on the ball and is great at driving the ball forward and helping his team get into dangerous attacking situations. And with Lamine's impressive performances at this tournament, for the reasons I've just said, the Spanish FA took notice of him and was eventually invited to play for the Spanish under-15s and under-16 squads. Not only that, Lamine represented Spain's under-17 side in the 2023 European Under-17 Championship with Yamal scoring 4 goals in this tournament. Now Spain did very well at this competition, with them making the semifinals, but they were knocked out by a very talented France team with a 3-1 loss. Overall though, with Lamine's impressive showings at Barcelona and the Spain U teams, it was only a matter of time until he got called up to the main Barcelona squad. And that's exactly what happened, because Xavi, the Barcelona coach, has been noticing for a while now how deadly Lamine Yamal was for La Masia with his amazing left foot, kind of reminding him of Lionel Messi's young days, which Xavi was very familiar with since they both played together. So Xavi decided it would be a good idea to invite Lamine Yamal to train with the first team of Barcelona. Now Lamine did not look back at this opportunity opportunity and impressed Xavi a ton. That's when Xavi decided to name Lamine Yamal into the Barcelona squad for the first time in their game against Atletico Madrid, where he was an unused sub as Barcelona went on to defeat Atleti 1-0. However, the following week, on April 29th, Lamine Yamal's time to shy would finally happen. Barcelona were playing Real Betis and were cruising against them, beating them 4-0. That's when Xavi decided that it would be a perfect time to bring in a young prodigy like Lamine Yamal in. So in the 83rd minute, Lamine Yamal would replace Gavi in the match, receiving a standing ovation from the Barcelona supporters who were
were aware of how talented this kid is. With this 11 minute cameo, Yamal impressed the Barcelona fans by almost ending up with a goal and an assist. And if it wasn't for Claudio Bravo making a crazy one on one save, or Usman Nabeli absolutely missing the ball from an easy angle to score, Lamine Yamal would have had his first goal contributions for Barcelona. All in all, though, this cameo showed that Lamine Yamal had what it takes to live up to his high expectations and was definitely ready for first team football. However, there was more going on than just giving Yamal a little stretch of game time. That's because Yamal made his debut at 15 years, 9 months, and 16 days old, meaning that he wasn't 16 years old yet. And when Yamal did turn 16, he would technically be a free agent ready to sign for any club in the world. Therefore, Barcelona and Xavi gave him his debut to show him that Barcelona are ready to give him chances with the first team and also to show him that they believe in him. And this worked, because Xavi came out and said that the entire situation regarding Lamine Yamal was under control, with his mind locked in on succeeding at Barcelona and wanting to stay at the club. And Xavi was in line, because Lamine Yamal was set to play for Barcelona in the 23-24 campaign. Now, Lamine Yamal initially wasn't supposed to have too big of a role to play for Barcelona this upcoming season. And to some football fans, it felt like his hype has only been a recent and a little too soon. However, this isn't the case. But instead, Yamal's hype has been overshadowed. That's because despite the similarities between Lionel Messi and Lamine Yamal, Ansu Fati was seen as the heir to the throne for Barca, and he was getting all the hype. Ansu was the one who was supposed to lead Barcelona after Messi, with him even taking the number 10 shirt. However, with his injury problems, and the fact that he's gone to Brighton on loan this season, the focus has gone back to Lamine Yamal. Also, Usman Nabeli has decided to leave the club to join PSG as well, forcing Lamine Yamal to step up for Barca in this 23-24 campaign, and indeed he has. That's because in the preseason games for Barca, despite playing against good opposition like Arsenal, AC Milan, and Tottenham, Lamine Yamal was cooking. In fact, against Spurs, Lamine Yamal came on as a substitute, and seconds later, he assisted the game-tying goal. Overall, with his impressive preseason performances, Xavi Hernandez was willing to bet it all on Lamine Yamal and give him a good amount of game time for the upcoming campaign. And this is showing, because on August 20th, 2023, against Cadiz, Yamal earned his first start for the club, becoming the youngest star for Barcelona in La Liga at the age of 16 years and 38 days old. Yamal excited the fans so much during his start that he was given a standing ovation as he was subbed off with 5 minutes left in the game. Then, in his next starting appearance against Villarreal on August 28th, 2023, Yamal was named man of the match. After contributing to two goals scored by Gavi and Robert Lewandowski, at just 16 years and 45 days old, Lamine became the youngest player to get an assist in a La Liga fixture. It's only going to be a very short time until Lamine Yamal gets his very first goal for Barcelona as well. Also, his amazing performances led him to be fought by two national teams that he was connected to, Spain and Morocco. Sorry Equatorial Guinea, y'all never had a chance. Anyways, Lamine Yamal has always been connected with Spain's national team, with him only playing for their U teams, and of course with him being born and raised in the country. However, Moroccan fans believe that they had a chance of convincing Lamine Yamal to switch allegiances. One, Morocco's national team is basically filled with Europeans technically. Despite all of them having Moroccan ethnicity, most of the squad is born and raised in European countries, and Lamine Yamal fits that description. Plus, with Morocco's recent amazing run at the 2022 World Cup, who wouldn't want to join a national team coming off an amazing high like that? Plus, when Morocco defeated Spain on penalties in the round of 16, there's a recording of Lamine Yamal celebrating Morocco's win, pulling up to training wearing the Moroccan kit, and also kissing the badge. However, despite Morocco being very good at recruiting dual nationals, Lamine Yamal was set to represent Spain, with him accepting his first senior international call-up for the 2024 Euro qualifiers against Georgia and Cyprus. Lamine then made his debut against Georgia on September 8th, 2023, scoring in the 74th minute of a 7-1 victory at just 16 years and 57 days old, becoming the youngest player and goal scorer for Spain, breaking both of Gavi's records. Lamine also became the youngest goal scorer in a Euro qualifying match, overtaking Gareth Bale's record as well. Overall, although Lamine Yamal has a bright future, it's important to remember not to get too carried away, since he's still only 16 years old. However, with him having so much promise, you can't blame Barcelona fans for getting too excited. As a neutral in this instance, I just hope Lamine Yamal fulfills his potential, because I love seeing players with these great backstories do well. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Also, please be sure to follow my Twitter and my Instagram, both of the links are in my YouTube description. Last but not least, if you want to learn more about the downfall of a very talented footballer based in Greenwood, you definitely want to check out this video right here, you won't regret it.